Hey guys, it's Rain so for this necklace. I printed all these different sizes of stars. It's like a template. Feel free to use like a star puncher, but I'm gonna be doing this by hand. This image is gonna be linked below, but I'm gonna be cutting one by one. For the big ones, I used some like regular scissors, and for the smaller ones, I used like detail scissors. So once I have all my stars like cut out, I'm just gonna be choosing the ones that I'm gonna be um, using for this necklace. And pretty much just like every other star or every like a star, couple of not, and then the next one is a yes. Pretty much what I wanted to go for is like gradient effect from bigger to smaller but making those sizes different in between them and this is the ones that i ended up using i'm going to be using some porcelain clay by the way feel free to use polymer clay it's pretty much up to you i just love this one because i get a lot more and i don't have to bake it rolling some clay on top of my math craft i do have a review for this one with my roller that has those two green rings on each corner just so that i can have the same thickness all throughout my clay and then uh, before my clay dries, I'm going to be placing all my stars on top in there and just wait for this to dry. The reason that I do this is because because my clay is still like moist. I know a lot of people don't like that word. I don't mind it at all. My paper stars are going to stick in there, making it much easier for the next step. Which is using my fine sharpie, tracing the shape of all my stars like this. And I'm doing this while my clay is still not fully dry as you can tell, but it's starting to dry. And you can tell by the corners, they are getting clear, but the middle part is still like white. And once I trace all the shape of my stars, I'm going to be removing the paper stars and I'm going to be cutting them the same way that I did before with the paper stars. And now my stars are pretty much in the middle of like fresh and dry completely. So I'm going to be taking this tool that is like scribe tool, dotting tool and everything tool pretty much. And I'm going to be making two holes on each star. Now it's time to paint them. Obviously you can choose whatever color you want. I'm just using gold, black, silver. For my gold, I'm using this light gold that I customized myself. Feel free to check this out if you like this shade. My black acrylic paint and my silver. And I also have this glitter explosion kind of thing. I'm going to be using that as well because I think it's fun. Painting some of them gold, the following ones silver. Mixed those, my silver and my glitter explosion, just to add some fun. And because this glitter is chunky, I think it looked really cool. And then the black ones. For the black ones, I decided to, because it was like too plain, just black. I added a bit of that glitter explosion just to add some sparkle. And to bring this together, first I'm going to be using some jump rings in my pliers. I'm going to be opening my jump rings, placing two stars per jump ring through the holes that I made and then just closing that jump ring in all of the stars. So once I reach both ends, for one I'm going to be adding a jump ring and then a clasp. And for the other one I'm going to be adding a jump ring then adding this chain i have no idea what this one is called this is just a chain that i found on like my jewelry drawer adding that to my jump ring and then adding another jump ring on the other edge and the length of your needle chain it depends on like how low you want your necklace to be but yeah guys this is the idea that i want to share with you i honestly wanted to share this idea for last christmas or last uh, new year's eve but I didn't have it in time and it's pretty much sitting on my mind and just on my to-do list for the whole year. So because of that, this one is kind of special to me because I really like it. I think it's like so much fun. It's like a statement, obviously, but it's like a cute statement. I think it's really easy to pair off with anything and it's pretty lightweight as well. I think it looks really cute, especially at nighttime because of how much this shines and sparkles. And I mean, the quality of my camera is like awful at nighttime, but I wanted to share with you what it looks like because again, it shines and sparkles beautifully beautifully so hopefully you can get an idea what it looks like and i mean i'm sharing with you this for new year's eve but i'm definitely not going to be using this for new year's eve only for summertime as well like pretty much all year round and this is what it looks like if you wear it on a summer at night time i think it's really cute and hopefully you liked it too if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out more custom jewelry and necklaces that i have on my channel and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye